Hey, it's Joe before the show. How about Mo? What up, people? Now they've got that koi thing going on. What's a koi thing? Kind of. Like laissez faire? So. <laughs> I actually looked that up, and that does mean lazy, by the way. Thank you. Appreciate and it does mean a time in life, in history. Go she ahead. likes to use the term laissez faire all the time. So today, here's the deal uh, Natalie's freaked out. One, because she has to work with me. Most people are freaked out. Oh, but two, uh, the cockroach that has attacked her, that has decided not to attack her, because it, it, it ran from you yesterday, but it's decided to take up residency. Uh, Underneath my keyboard. And he's not invited. He didn't even, like, do a background check or anything with me, and I need him to sign a lease. So yesterday, or today, she leaves her desk not knowing the cockroach is there and uh, comes down to the studio. And she's paging me to tell me that there's two minutes left until our songs are and I have to get down here so I can... What did I here. say in that speaker? You said, get down here. So, But I couldn't. I was like listening to it go overhead. And I, meanwhile, I'm with a newspaper at our desk. I'm like trying to get this cockroach because the thing's running. And you know they've, they've been around since the prehistoric crustacean time. They don't die easy. And even with today's Tulsa world, I love you, Tulsa world, but you let me down. Missed. Hit him. Didn't phase him. I, I hit him a bunch of times. Did you play baseball as a young tyke? Would that Ow! Hurt? If you were a cockroach, would that hurt? If you were human, would that hurt? <laughs> the thing wouldn't die. Wow. I know. My gosh. So she's a little freaked out today, just just so you know. <laughs> I think you're more freaked out than me. I was the one battling it. You were battling. You did try it. You were like the Patriot, like Mel Gibson. Yeah, I, I didn't stop. I was there for you. Thanks, And man. the only reason I stopped eventually is because I had to get down here because the song was ending. Yeah. That said, there was a family that was held hostage in a hotel, in a restaurant rather, in Houston because they wouldn't pay the tip. Okay. Yeah, they, 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 it's like a 17% gratuity that was added on uh -huh. because it had such a large group. It was just a family. And like, we're not paying that. That's, that's stupid. So they would not let them leave. The restaurant employees wouldn't let them leave. They wow. were stuck. In, finally, cops had to show up. Did they have to do the dishes? No, they eventually paid the tip and left. Oh, my gosh. So speaking of tip, there's this couple and this guy, he's like, he did not like the server. Yeah. And so um, the lady comes up with the bill and he writes uh, a note and he's like, talking about how horrible she is, and then the tip he leaves her is two pennies, and he says, here's my two cents. Mm. Two cents is what I thought. Do you always give 15% even if they're a, wor a really bad server? I don't even know what percentage I give. I just double the tax and maybe give some more. If I had kids, I'd give a little bit more than that. Oh, yeah. So, you know, there's actually an article in the weekend section of the Tulsa World last weekend on tipping. Yeah, how, did they say did how much that? more it is? Uh, they're saying I think the average is now 18%. Yes, I read that. Not uh, in Tulsa World, but I read it. I don't know how to make 18%. I don't know how to make... I don't want to have to... See, I don't want to be that idiot that pulls out a calculator. I don't want to be the guy who pulls out a tip card. I don't want to be the one who's like has to do math on a napkin. I want it to be easy mm -hmm. and be able to just use my fingers under the table. <laughs> so if I can just double the tax and maybe add a couple more because I feel no, sorry no, for them because no, no, I have no, kids no. that made a mess, I'll do that. After, and you have two kids. Yeah. That's faux. After that, if you don't like what you're getting as a tip, sorry. Tip sorry. Get I almost said a bad word yeah, from I, the show before I, the show. I know. A severed head. Would you drink that? Suck Richard Branson's head. Yep. Virgin Atlantic upper class passengers can now suck on Richard Branson's head. Yummy. He is the founder of Virgin Everything. And uh, there are, they just started a new bar service. I thought Mary was. So... She's the she's the president emeritus. So they started this new service and they made these ice cubes that had Richard Branson's head that they're floating in your glasses. They're enlarged. How does it say it? You can suck on Richard's they're, they're head. Enla they're enlarged heads of Richard Branson. His severed head. Even better. Uh, we gotta end this. Well, Richard would love to be able to sit and enjoy a drink with all of our passengers. His schedule means that it is simply isn't possible. So now you can sit and have a drink with, with Richard. Richard's. Does he have an accent? Well, he's British. Well, that's good. Have you ever seen him interviewed? No, I haven't. I've okay. seen him fly from a plane. He doesn't really talk like that. What does he talk like? Not like that. <laughs> hey, what? No. Seriously? Yes. It's, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, that's the show before the show. I could, I could start hitting you more. No, 